Bit of a cold start there. Haven't heard the big girl do a cold start in a while. Um, so in the truck, going to work now, and we're going to pick up my trailer, my big aluminium plant trailer from my cousin's place. He's been borrowing it, but I need it to, uh, to move some equipment and stuff, so we're gonna go pick that up this morning. Uh, gonna grab the tubs and stuff as well, down from Mitts, so we're gonna go down part two, see how the truck's going, see how the builds are going, and yeah, let's get on the road. Get out of here. Sounds so good now. The truck sounds so sick. down to my cousin's house, pick up my trailer, and then I gotta go and move some equipment um, today, and then I'll swing back past on my way home and grab the tubs off both the vehicles. So my brother's Ranger is actually down there at the moment as well, uh, getting a, a setup done. So yeah, he booked his in the same time I was getting the Ram done. That's bloody high tide. Gulliga National Park. That damn booty needs to be. Got me trailer. Dan's nav again. Got me trailer on, just dropped off one of my machines to a job here in Newcastle. So I've got to pick up some tubs. This is my 10 meter long plant trailer for work and earth moving and stuff I use. I spent so much time in America that all my mates have trailers like this, so I built my own here. Let's go uh, see how these boys are going with this ram. Hey, mate. Hello, how are you? Oh, wow. Good mate, what's going on? Welcome Come and here. check the ram out. <laughs> this thing's a big dog. Yeah. We like seeing these things. Yeah. <laughs> We've been doing a few of them lately actually. So, yeah. And this has been the first 2500 as well. So it's good. Yeah, sweet. New <laughs> Evo too. Yeah. Oh, we're pumped. I can't wait to see it. Oh, mate. We, the changes that we've made to it are uh, well worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So come inside, we'll um, show you some of the new Evo 2 features that we're putting on uh, your clients. Uh, Ram 2500 as well, man. So with our new Evo 2 in all the back end of the uh, tray here, we'll just change this design. A bit more refined, a bit sleeker look. Yeah, um, it looks sick. And because the old design was square, and so we've tapered all this in. Housed all the reverse sensors into the tail light fascia. Uh, the beauty about all these fascias and on the rear pull out drawer as well they're all separate bolt-on items so if you do happen to damage one you can simply just take it off and, and order a new one uh, and and being separate as well you can powder coat them to match um, the boxes powder coat them whatever color you want really so 
So fully customise it to whatever you want? Yeah, it makes it a bit more customisable. Um, features that we've got going on. And then we've housed all the, just moved a few things, we've housed the... Oh, that's, that's sexy. Yeah, the um, number plate lights up there, so a bit more out of the way. Just cleaned it up a little. Yeah, I like the new trundle. So it's all taped, but yeah, it's... That's flash. Everything else is sort of the same, but just, just aesthetic design changes. And yeah. then all these sensors and stuff, you've got brackets and stuff that the boys... Yeah, we've got another bolt-on box for the um, reverse, uh, the traffic sensors. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So all these will go back into the, into the boxes. factory position and everything. And yeah. They'll all work, which is good. Tucking them out nice, nice and out of the way, so there's less chance of them getting damaged. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. We'll walk over here and I'll show you some of the design changes in the Evo 2 canopies. So one of the biggest design changes so far is the flush floor that we've got now. So we've raised the floor, dropped the sill. So you no longer have to reach over a, a door sill to get into your canopy. So everything's just straight in, straight out. Yeah, that's it. So we've got all our Unistruck construction. Um, so you can, with all your internal accessories, pull them out, put them in, you know, move them around to customise it how you need to be set up, um, if you're a tradie or whatever. Um, and then on the front wall, this is what's going in your client's 2500. We've got the Red Arc Ultimate Package. Um, so we've got 1, uh, 2000 watt inverter, uh, the Manager 30, Red Vision. So that's all controlled off your, uh, your smartphone, just on an app. So you can set all the lights and fridges and everything. So it's a pretty wild system. What's going on here, mate? Mate, we've got these nice, sleek looking black lock boxes. So these cover all your, your door locks. So internally, if you're bumping around on tracks, nothing goes into the locks and, and it obstructs it from opening. Yeah. And that's also where we mount our hardcore dimmable LED lighting yeah, around looks, the camp. That looks so much nicer. <laughs> Protecting those locks and stuff. And... Yeah, yeah, just a nice design. I mean, we got. You can add in extra lights or whatever if you wanted to as well. Yep. This is our box for the red vision. That just goes here. So you'll have all your, your heads up display there. Yep. So you can yep. still use all, all your switches and everything to turn your, your accessories on and off. Yep. And monitor it. So it's a nice little neat box tucked away there. So that's kind of superseded from like my original design of having those switches and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There in the corner. Yeah, yeah just up, updated designs. So it's a nice box, faces out nicely, out of the way as well. Yep. And then we'll mount the, the two batteries under here so it's tucked up under the whole panel. Yep. On the front wall there. Very flash. Just distributes the weight nice and evenly across that headboard as well. Yeah, so it's not like in one corner of the canopy. Yeah, or... exa yeah exactly. So you have your fridge and your drawer, and you put some heavier items over there. We'll have some side-by-side -side system over there as well. Yep. So this is something similar to what will be in, in the 2500. Yeah, I think the boys have got the tray going on today, so this afternoon it's going to look a hell of a lot different. Yep. I'm pretty keen to see this one come come out, you know? Yeah, me too. Evo 2. So is this the first Ram with the Evo 2? This is the first... Yeah, I think it is. Yep. I think it's the first Ram altogether. But, and, and the first 2500 as well, so yep. it's going to yep. look pretty sick. That'd be a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, got my brother's Ranger down here as well. He's got a Evo 2 setup. So the Evo 2 setup is Mitz's new tray and canopy and all the rest of it. So, it's his Ranger. So he's got the KM3 toys. He's run the Methods, NVs. So I think he's running a dog box in here. Getting all these installs on the internals getting done. So I don't know if my brother's gonna run a rooftop tent or if he's gonna, uh, he's got two spears, he's got the ladder. So he's got, he'll probably take that out. Put his spare on here. So, but I don't know if he's running a rooftop tent or a swag at this stage, because he was gonna, he was gonna buy my old, um, my bush company, uh, my old tent, my black series tent. So he was gonna buy that off of me, but not sure yet. Mm. 
We brought it to his ranger. Nearly all done, nearly all tidied up. He's gone with a um, little Bushman upright fridge and this pantry. How sick are the new pantries? That's cool. And you got your little drawer there as well. Hang your plastic bags for your rubbish off the, the end of the tray there. But just for him and his missus, this is plenty of room. They got a dog box on the other side. So he's gonna do his own 12 volt power install in here. Um, or he might get a portable battery or something for his setup. But um, looks sick. So these are the doors for the Ram. So they're a, they're a two pack, two pack door. So matching the same color as the Ram. They should look really, really sick. So this is where kind of all the assembly comes through. You've got water tanks, all your drawers and everything. That's a new Evo 2 setup, new trundle. That's how you can tell. Tapered sides. They got all your fridge cages. Some more two-pack doors over here. Drop shelves. So here's a quick comparison, like this is a D-Max chassis. And then, come over to the Ram chassis. How much bigger it is. Ram. D-Max. That's why those trucks can carry so much more. Got the Rams. Under tray toolboxes all ready to go, two pack. Uh, white on the sides we went with, with the ebony black. The canopy here, boys are just putting it all together. So it's going to get full internal fit out and everything, which will be sick. And Dan, Dan the man down there to do the uh, power install. So, this paint's got like a, it's like a flake in it, it's bloody cool, cool colour. Here we go, about to drop the tray and canopy on. So running two water tanks on this sucker too. So we've got plenty of water storage. Woohoo! It's gonna look so sick. Especially with the uh Having the two-pack white doors and then I think the bronze on the wheels. It's gonna look awesome. So I chose to go with uh, two pack on the doors and then go with the ebony black that we originally chose for my truck back in the day and it's been a huge hit here at Mitts with um, lots of people going with that ebony black. So 
yeah, it's a really nice sort of ripple style powder coat. And then with the white doors, it actually matches in with the same color as the truck itself. So it's looking pretty good. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the proportions of the truck to the, the tray and the canopy. We'll take a look from the other side. So looking at the proportion of the cab to the tray and the canopy, sits dead over the axle. Boys are just manipulating it now to get it in the right spot. Um, so we're running two spares on this thing. And then we'll do a nice infill panel down here. So it should look pretty good. The, um, the new Evo 2 trundle kind of matches up well with the, the, the tow bar actually. And then we'll move on to uh, the internal fit outs and stuff. Once the boys have done all the mounting, guards, all the rest of it, then we'll uh, move on to the internal fit out. And then Dan, who works over here, does all the electrics, DMF. He'll then do a full red arc uh, fit out like we've seen with Az earlier. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the, the size of that train canopy. Looks, looks sick. So I got one method here. Got another one on its way down from the boys at Race Wheels. Um, and then got to go and get the new, two new BF tyres fitted to those rims, what we're running on, on the ram already. So yeah, it's all coming together slowly. So with all the wiring and everything, the boys will have all this kind of pre-fabbed um, up. So they've got a bunch of um, connectors and stuff for pretty much all the modern new utes that are coming through. So it's pretty much plug and play that way to run their, their new tail lights. So they've got their signature Ignite tail lights here. So they're really nice light. So two spares here on the back that we'll be running the, the methods with the BFs. Um, we are gonna, we're gonna go for rooftop tent, but decided not to. So now we're just gonna go with a roof rack and they're gonna run swags. So, um, yeah, being at the age that they are now, climbing up and down into a rooftop tent, I don't think is, is very smart. Um, could probably do it, but I think swags, swags with stretches on the ground, be a much better, better suit for them anyway. But definitely, definitely looking shit hot, I've yelled it. So we sat the, um, sat the tray and the canopy down on the truck. The suspension didn't move at all. So I think by the time we fit uh, the fridge, all the internal components that are going inside the canopy, uh, the internal fit out, electrical system, water tanks, um, once they're filled, uh, two spares going on the back, obviously roof rack still to go on. So we've still got, still got a bit of weight still to add to the canopy. Um, but if you can see from the side profile, it is sitting up pretty high, um, but that will slowly come down as we add more of the accessories that we're putting in the truck so but yeah so for towing and touring this will be a really really good even nice setup for, for doing both to be able to pull the pin take the caravan off and take this truck out to simo take it up to cape york wherever you want to go and you don't want to tow a van with you this will be a really really nice little package on this Ram 2500, so I think those methods are just, they look sick. All right, we've got, uh, got the tubs loaded up. Got my brother's, thought I'd pick up his tub while I'm here, his Ranger tub, so got it on the back of the truck. Got the client's Ram tub on the back. Apparently these things are worth a lot of money, so if anybody wants a Ram tub with the Ram boxes, let me know. Apparently they're pretty sought after to try and get them. So, go and say bye to the boys now. So I think my brother's gonna be coming down soon. His range is all ready to go. Looking pretty flash. Very nice. He might have to get some springs for the back, I think, because he just had the tub on there. So he did a shock upgrade but I don't think he actually changed the stock leafs in the back. So he does have the BP-51s in this truck. 
He's got the BP 51s in there. So, and he's got them in the rear as well, but see what he does to this when he's finished. We'll do a setup sesh on this truck when he's when he's all done. You meet me brother. So I'll take his spare out from underneath there, put it up on the canopy. So he's got a dog box on this side. But we'll do a full walk around with him when he's done, when he's finished it, so looking sick. Ooh, the ram dog. Boss man must be. So I've got a got a bit of work to do, so I've got to go. These boys are gonna keep going ahead, getting this getting this thing mounted. So I'll get I'll get Az to uh get him to do a bunch of filming for me because he's already down here, so makes sense. Get him to do that for me. Alright, we're all tied off, ready to go. Let those boys keep working on the ram and we'll be back down next week to see how they're all progressing and the power install and the internals and everything. So yeah, see you guys in the next episode. Catches.